Ever since RTO happened this week, people just have been leaving the office early once work is done. People have been leaving the office once all work and meetings are done which is like around 2 p.m. Heard people from other teams complaining that they were wasting more money coming into the office especially when the cost of living is higher and being remote or hybrid two days was helping offset that. They said that to get more time back for their day, they are just going to leave once work is slow or when there is no work to be done at all and I am going to start doing the same. Friends said our company might be four days back in office come the new year because the economy is struggling and no one is buying things lunch. But like, if I have to commute four days now, you can guarantee I won't be purchasing anything extra because I need to use that money on gas. I start and finish my work days at home, and commute during business hours. Requiring me to be in the office makes commuting part of my job. A similar thing happened when we started going back a couple days per pay period. After lunch, people just melt away. By 4 p.m. there's no one around. I generally work 8.3069 days per two-week pay period but have started doing the same on my in-office days to avoid the worst of the commute crush. I just wrap up at home. I wouldn't surprised if the RTO only applies to the workers. But the managers won't think it applies to themselves. Lol so in a sense it makes it even easier for workers to go home early since no one even knows you're there to begin with. This is pretty much how it is in consulting or tech heavy companies. Please come in for collaboration. Well fine I guess, we come. So it means morning and time before lunch is where it happens. After lunch, people quietly pack their bags and become scarce. By 15.00 it is quite empty already, only those that actually live by and want to work at office for peace are there. For example kids at home or something else that bothers them so they have their reasons when asked. The RTO push is coming from the top of the hierarchy. Office rental property owners and banks lenders are having an unprecedented loss due to work from home polices this is the true reason why they want people back. It is not to incentivize economy, if you work from home you still need to eat, the demand for goods is similar. I go to the office and get there at 11 am, and leave at 1.30 pm on the days I have to go in. You only have to badge into buildings and floors, so they'll see multiple swipes throughout the office during those times when they pull reports. If they ever mandate 8 hours per day, they'd need to pull camera or IP footage. And if it ever gets to that point, I'm fucking out cause that's insane. General strike anyone? I don't understand what once all work is done means. My team has a backlog of thousands of tickets. For every ticket we close, another opens. Everyone is constantly underwater. Not to mention our multi-year road map. This isn't unusual this is industry standard. Every team I've been on in my 20-year career has been this way. Management have mandated full-time return to office everyone is leaving or looking to leave. When I leave this will be one of the main reasons. My job is 8 minutes walk. My partner's job was 100 remote. He lost that job. New job is mostly in office. We don't have a car, 2 hour each way on buses thinking of getting a car and that would wreck our budget. Otherwise we live far below our means, I fucking hate it. Supposedly my company managers are going to mandate a full 8 hours in the office no leaving early when we return in January. Email has yet to be sent but one of our managers already sent his team an email saying this. All this RTO is absurd and the decision to move in this direction comes from old, limited thinking minds that are scared of change and have trust issues. For anyone reporting to me I don't care where they work as long as the work is getting done I couldn't care less how long it takes them and what they do with the balance of their time. I personally can't wait until all these old thinking lunatics are out of the workforce and we can truly make the changes that make sense for everyone. And that's exactly what should happen. No shit, huh? I bet you'll hear from management about it within a few weeks at some kind of all hands where they're gonna be all like surprised Pikachu face and try to tell you not to do that. Former union, 
bargain for remote work. Bosses don't listen to anything but organized worker power. I'm fortunate to live near the office so I usually just go in the morning, get some free coffee and leave before noon to continue work at home. As far as I'm concerned, there's nowhere in the RTO directive sent that specifies working in the office for the full eight hours. I personally think the whole hybrid thing will die and some firms will go whole hog RTO five days a week and the smart ones would realize the massive cost savings, productivity gains of remote work if managed right and they will get all the top talent and every A-tier tech company in five ten years will be a fully remote company with the RTO ones will continue to languish and struggle. I'm not joking where are these workplaces where work gets slow or done? I'm in a non-profit office setting and we have zero downtime. It'll last until the management starts making 4pm meetings mandatory. Start looking for a new employer. I wish I had this option. My current boss forces me to finish all my work by 11.30 and then gets upset that I'm not doing anything for the rest of the day. He doesn't schedule anything for me to do. Just gets upset. Yep, I do that. Come in the morning, get my meetings done, and head home at lunch to work the afternoon. Company thinks it's winning because I'm in, I think I'm winning because my parking is half price and I leave early. Everyone wins. This is why they slap 4pm meetings in your calendar. I badge in three times a week. Badge in then badge out. Nice try. You won't get me back in the office not falling for it.